obviously. The Empower is essentially, I want to say it's about half the effect on ally heroes now, what it used to be, or close to that at least. Uh, I mean, she'll still be able to farm and whatnot. It just feels like she's, I don't know, she doesn't come online. Though. Island situations, they seem very comfortable with trading and playing around Elder Titan strength. Elder Titan is, in many ways, the single best tri laner in the game when he hits level 3. It's just incredible how much damage you get out of the Astral Spirit. So... Yep, Elder Titan quite strong. Just a little bit surprised we didn't see it last game like we talked about. Uh, Ramus, he puts down a ward, but I'm pretty sure Miracle saw that. And he's probably pinging out the, uh, the sentries now. Bottom lane, Mind Control continuing to spam the Firestorm. This is another great tri-lane hero in theory if you're able to get some levels. You can continually push the enemy under their tower. As long as you can keep that mana capacity up. Yeah, I really like I really like their lineup this game. I'm a big fan of these big fat beefy heroes, as you know. And even though I have a bias against ranged heroes, uh, Vengeful Spear is one of my favorites. Mid lane, mid time here, we're getting hit by the Conquered ship. Kuroki is here, but Miracle is stuck in the ice shards. Looks oh, like he just will maybe fall, but the refraction comes up at the last second. Rupture onto the Conquer. Looks like he will get out, though. So no one actually dies. And a lot more TPs for Team Nick. It's like it a is. classic 1 1 split. Viking oh, ascending game. Four heroes top, which they really is don't this, need. Uh, was it a built-in comeback mechanics, Cinderin, that Team Nigma is ahead, but they find the Iron Talon in the jungle, <laughs> the worst of the items? Could it be that it's connected? Conspiracy theorist? Hmm? Wait, Tier 1 tower, taking the beating. Uh, no, TA found it GH. originally. But, and we have you a it's bad when the farming hero doesn't even want it. Yeah. That's true. Okay. All right, he's kind of stuck inside. He's starting out. You look at some help from mine. Look at We are able to get this bottom outpost. It's only 11:45 though, so won't be getting that that bonus quite yet. He's gonna get ganked. We have gets off the blood right just in time, or does he? No, it doesn't matter. He's okay, overwhelmed by a lot of heroes. Yes. It showcased what the problem Tusk can have against Bloodseekers, though. Like, the very telegraphed snowball, he immediately blood rights and gets a three-man silence. If he has teammates there, that could have gone really bad. For Viking. Good scouting there with the shards. Oh, he actually blocked in Miracle. Dyer's bottom tower won't Miracle last in the Roche pit, has the Desolator ready to go. Yeah, so... I, I kind of like that he went away from it, to be honest. Yeah, that's like a good point. We didn't mention the fact that he could just opt not to go for it just because of the Bloodseeker. Because yeah. Bloodseeker sometimes is just one of those trump cards where he hard counters it here. Like, if I'm playing Pango, that's a, the hardest counter you can get. Like, it just feels real bad. Miracle, two shots to Crystal Maiden. See ya. Nice to meet you. And the tier one tower looks to be potentially the next target for them as PA does get the Deso, so this could be a little surprise. Oh, good combo smell. Enemy rupture and the swap. You're seeing how much burst damage they actually do. Tanner's very low. The RP does go off though. Tanner can get being healed up thanks to the next still ruptured, of course, will finally go down with the delayed effect to we'll buy back into the game, actually. It's Kuroki. He's going to be the first to fall for his team, potentially gets up the magic missile, though, and PA dies with that Desolator intact, and we are going to town on this Tusk in a buyback to Galore. Again, this could be a disaster for Viking. Toby with pretty much no mana to speak of. They need to get something out of this buyback from Tanner. They're going for GH, another pit of mouse, and Weeha is just doing so much damage this fight. This is going to be a dieback on the Tanner if they're able to actually finish him off. Does have the armlet, so able to keep alive for a little bit longer. Tusk buys back into the game, got a TP into the shrine as well. But this is a dieback, a triple kill for Weeha. By far his best game of this qualifiers. And Aramis, despite buying back, is the last member of his team. And it looks like that this is going to be essentially a team wipe. I believe PA bought back into this, so this is a complete disaster for Vikings. What do you mean essentially? That there. fight ended 8-0. Like, what more do you want? Why do you have to backseat cast me? You backseat Miracle, and now you backseat cast me. Do you have no shame, sir? Pretty much everything, right? You don't win a fight 8-0 in the enemy mid-tier 1 tower 15 minutes in unless you're doing something right. Like, that's just... Very, 
very, very well done. If we even get to that point, the Aegis still has a minute and a half left, so if Miracle wants to try his luck, he could go and do something here. Radiance Middle Tower can't handle this daily. But for now, they're just taking every tower. And Blood Rage TA hits real, real hard. Radiance oh yeah, Tower it's good stuff. But the good news is Tusk got his 90 gold a minute talent, Cinderin. Doesn't even yep. bother for the XP gain. And Weeha's finally going some damage now, so Mjolnir next on the list. Yeah. I don't actually know if that's the best item here. But I think there's a lot of different stuff thinking about, oh, they're all showing on a ward. This is very, very bad positioning right now for, for Viking. If... Yep, there's the Underlord ulti. They definitely want to fight here. There they come. Yeah, Miracle gets a nice little one shot there. And they're going to have to fall back to base. Now, PA, I believe, has BKB at base. Uh, I believe the Mithril Hammer should be there. Yeah, okay. So this is probably what they've been waiting for. Not sure if it's going to matter at this point, but it is a very big item. This is when PAs would like to start fighting. The issue yeah. down 16k. And you can get ruptured, because they don't need to reserve the rupture for a Magnus with eggs, so Weeha can specifically target the PA and just ruin her fights. Yes. Let's see if there's going to be an attempt on the P on the TA. They're just letting Miracle take the full tower. Nobody was even trying to go in here. It's easier said than done, right? But you, yeah, it is. You got to pick your fight, right? It's not getting easier. You now you just lost a tower and a shrine for nothing. So I think with every passing minute, it's one minute later than you should have tried. And there we go. They're going now. And they might run into. Oh, it might be Kuroki. Might be mind control. They're gonna de ward a little bit. Yeah, this is ha pretty much has to be the fight. Uh, TA getting initiated on. Nice bolt on to two actually. Kuroki is gonna take the bunch of the damage for now. RP onto just the TA. But the echo is ruptured. Counter. Oh dear. That is rough stuff. Into the Elder Titan ult as well as Miracle. He's just cleaning everybody up. Celery gets his ult canceled pretty much immediately. And this looks to be a 3-0 for Team Nigma. As you remember, they got 2 one by Viking yesterday. Yep, so this is a complete they turn They have improved so much overnight. They know exactly what they needed to do to change. And that's, you know, that's a class difference thing. They, they looked at the replays, they looked at their mistakes, and they figured it out, it seems. At least, maybe Viking are also playing a little less sharp today than they did yesterday. And they've been figured out a little bit in draft, but... Regardless, uh, Nigma's just on a completely different level today. And I think the, the key thing about the fight we just watched, I don't even know if you had it on camera, but very early on when the fight broke out and Kunka ran into X, the TA, Weeha was immediately on top of TA, of PA and ruptured her. So she, just, she was just stuck, you know, she was just standing there at the wards and just looking at her teammates die, and she can't do anything. She can't connect to the fight. Wow, Kuroki has a Christmas, by the way. I don't think I've ever seen this on a position 5 Ventral Spear before. <laughs> Pretty cool, knowing that they're super, super far ahead. And Echo's top out to 2. Torn on to 3 heroes. Shad comes in with a BKB, but they just have no damage to follow this up with. The TA and company should be able to clean this up quite nicely. Kobe getting help with that boat. But that is too dead in the blink of an eye, and the GG's come out. Congratulations! to Team Enigma as they will qualify for the global Ukraine.